Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't watched my previous vlogs, please take a look and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Today, I really want to talk to you guys about my visit to the Unilever headquarters. I've been there many times before, but I've never really recorded and I wanted to get this out in a vlog. So if you guys don't know, Unilever USA is a transnational Dutch British consumer goods company headquartered in London, UK and in the Rotterdam, Netherlands. And they also have headquarters here in the USA and they are located in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, which is about 30 minutes from the city from Midtown West. So I wanted to show you guys what I am doing there. But first I wanna explain why I was there. So there is a wonderful, innovative invention that will help us stray away from plastic and lead us to a more healthy environment, ecosystem for both humans and animals alike, and will lead to a more plastic-free ocean, less plastic in landfills, and less plastics overall. The invention is a sustainable refill kiosk that me and my father, Henry Pino, made together. I am the co-founder. He began this machine in 2014. So it really took us, you could say, about six years to get this in full motion. My message to you guys is that if you're inventing something, you know, as little or if you think it's stupid, you know, I would say keep going because something so simple and what you think is stupid may turn into something amazing. And this took time. So many of you guys, if you're wondering, you know, oh, I want to invent something or oh, I invented something, but I don't have the money. I say do it. And I'll tell you a little background story. My dad started this because he used to work for a chemical company which would distribute personal care products like detergents more specifically. So he had this idea in mind for a long time and he actually came up with this idea during the recession. He is a real estate developer and during that recession in 07, basically real estate went downhill and my dad took the time to invent his machine. Um, of course, a lot of work went into it. He built the initial machine, he built the wiring inside, and now it's crazy how far this has gotten. And we actually received messages from huge companies like Unilever, for example, Colgate Palmolive, and a few other large companies. And actually many supermarkets like public supermarket do not want this machine. And you wanna know why? Because they make money off of selling plastic and they refuse to have a machine like this one. And you know, another big part of inventing something is that you really have to push through because many people won't like your idea, they'll be against it, you know, they won't want it because it might be competition for them or it's a threat for their products. And today, you know, there is a huge issue with plastic, plastic pollution. We have global warming and some people don't believe in that, but take a look around us. Glaciers are melting, animals are becoming more extinct weather is up and down it's just out of control and we came up with an idea that will help reduce the amount of plastic in the earth but unfortunately right now our machines are not in that many places and at unilever we currently have a pilot test or pilot program test which is basically a agreement that we came to with them where we agreed that for a year they would try to use this kiosk at their headquarters for their employees. And as I'm about to show you, Unilever has their own supermarket for employees. It's such, it's a great company. Their work culture is very positive. Their values, their mission statement, everything is around sustainable living. So whether that be sustainable 
personal care, sustainable laundry detergents, everything is meant to be recycled and eco-friendly. So we decided to do this pilot program with them and they wanted us to use one of their products, which is Love, Beauty, and Planet. I actually love this brand. I haven't switched from my shampoo and conditioner to their products, but I've tried them. And normally, a lot of their products, or most products that you see today in personal care, laundry detergents, almost everything is wrapped in plastic. And actually, plastic is very expensive. So when you go to the store, every time you go, every time you buy a detergent container, you are spending more money than if you would refill your own bottles, if you would refill your own detergent bottles. This would save you money, it would help the planet, so it's both economical and environment friendly. So I want to show you guys first the products of Love Beauty Planet, just so you guys can see what products we are currently dispensing at the Unilever headquarters. I will first show you the plastic version and the aluminum bottle version that we plan to transition to and what the company Unilever and Love Beauty Planet would like to transition to so that we could bring back these aluminum bottles to refill them. I'm going to show you what the plastic bottle of Love Beauty and Planet looks like at the moment for their shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. So basically they all look the same. Their packaging is in a plastic bottle. And I just want you guys to imagine how many shampoo bottles, how many conditioner bottles, and how many laundry detergent bottles do we buy almost every day, every week, millions of people buy plastic. And this is harmful to our environment. They end up in the ocean, they end up in landfills. It's harmful for animals, it's harmful for humans, and it's harmful for everyone. So I bought this today so I can show you guys, and I'm gonna start using it. As I said, I've tried it before, but I really like this scent. So this is what the plastic bottle looks like. Okay, and I'm gonna put that aside. And this is what the new aluminum bottle looks like. So currently at our refill kiosk at the headquarters, we are dispensing this specific scent in body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. It is coconut water and mimosa flower, and this is a sulfate-free shampoo. So I wanna show you what the aluminum bottle looks like. It's much better than plastic. Let's just say these machines are out and about. So you go, let's just say you live in an apartment building, you go to the laundry room, you bring your aluminum bottle and you refill your shampoo and conditioner for much less money and you're still getting great products. So imagine if you use a laundry detergent, you can go to the machine, you can refill your bottle. If you use seven generation detergent, you go ahead and do that and it's right down the hall or it might be in your local laundromat, or it might be in the supermarket. And actually in Miami, Florida, we have a store, but with minimum amount of machines. And honestly, it really hasn't taken off yet. And we plan to distribute it in several states across the US and maybe even internationally. We hope that people will understand our message and our goal. And I'm going to show you guys in a video now of me at the Unilever headquarters. I am on my way to Unilever headquarters. I am officially in charge of the operations here in New York. I'm really excited to show you guys today my day at Unilever. So let's do it. What do I do? Here is how it works. So one, buy an empty bottle, canister, you can bring whatever canister you want. Then two, unscrew the pump, three, fill your bottle, pay, then dispense, and then four, enjoy at home and bring it back when you're ready. So right here I have the sulfate-free shampoo, coconut water, and mimosa flower as it says here. 
and I'm going to refill it. And this is based on weight and it takes about 15 seconds to dispense. So it knows exactly when to stop and it'll stop up to here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So first I open it. It's really convenient. And then I'm going to put the shampoo on So it fits right in there. Okay, so I'm gonna close it and now I'm going to lock it up and then I will press the shampoo button. And then, so now it is complete. It has dispensed the shampoo, so I will go ahead and swipe the card. Okay, so it will authorize, card approved. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I believe it has filled. Yes, it did fill. So let's take a look. Okay. It smells really good. It actually does smell like coconut and mimosa right now. Well, it's mimosa flower smells like drink. But, so it's really convenient. It's for a less price than if you would go to the store and you're using an aluminum mm -hmm. bottle and you can continue to bring it back. Um, it is clean. You just have to make sure to wash the bottle. It really is great for the environment and economical at the same time. If you want to find our kiosks online, you can find us at ecopod underscore kiosk. Alright guys, if you liked my vlog and you'd like to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is gabsxnyc. And if you'd like to learn more about ecopod, you can visit our website at ecopod dot us so stay tuned and can't wait to see you soon